All right, math legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem first before I do it. You know the drill. If you know the answer, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, please subscribe to get more challenges like this one. We have 5 divided by 2 divided by 5 divided by 2. All right, the first thing I'm thinking of is pandas, and we work from left to right, and all of these operations are division, so let's just work from left to right. So we have 5 divided by 2, and I'll write that in a fraction form, 5 over 2, and then bring down the division symbol, bring the 5 down, and I want to turn that 5 into a fraction, and then I'm just going to leave the division symbol 2, alone and let's let's tackle this problem five over two divided by five over one we'll use the keep change flip method so it'll be written like this five over two we keep this part and we change that division symbol to multiplication and then we'll flip this fraction so the one will go on top of the fraction and the five will go at the bottom of the fraction and that will be written like this one over five and now we just multiply across. So 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. And now we have 5 over 10. And this can be simplified further. So let's do divided by 5. Divided by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So now we have 1 over 2. And we'll write it here, 1 over 2, bring now that division symbol down, and the 2, and I want to write the 2 as a fraction. So now we have this, 1 over 2 divided by 2 over 1. And we can use the keep change flip method again. So because I ran out of space, let me just write it over here. So we have 1 over 2, and... We change the division symbol to multiplication, and then we flip this fraction. So the 1 will go on top of the fraction, and the 2 will go at the bottom of the fraction. So it'll be written like this, 1 over 2, and then you just multiply across. So 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. And that's it. You can't simplify this further. So your answer is 1 over 4. And let's go ahead and get a decimal answer, 1 over 4, and we'll use long division and we do have space here so the dividend will be one and the divisor will be four so how many times can four fit into one you cannot so it'll be zero then you multiply zero times four is zero and you subtract one over i mean one minus zero which is one and now can you fit four into one you cannot, so you need to borrow zero. So we'll add a decimal after the one and a zero, uh, a decimal after the, the zero. A decimal after the zero, sorry. And then we'll give the zero to the one and it becomes 10. So how many times can four fit into 10? Two times. So two times four is eight. And you subtract 10 minus eight, which is two. Now, can 4 fit into 2? You cannot, so now the 2 needs to borrow a 0. So now it becomes 20. How many times can 4 fit into 20? Well, 5. So 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 minus 20 is 0. Oops, that's a subtraction symbol there. So your answer as a decimal answer is 0.25. And there you go.